Well, here we are on another wet and wild day at Eastwood. And wild horses probably wouldn't drag you out there today, but sometimes you're out during your round and you get caught in this stuff. And I think the most important thing is to be prepared for it. Don't get caught out, don't get too wet, and then you're struggling for the rest of the round. So what are sort of things that you should have in your bag to be prepared for a round like this? Well, let's have a quick look. Probably the first and most important thing, make sure you've got at least a jacket and hopefully a full waterproof suit. That keeps you nice and dry, keeps you warm as well on a day like this. What about that? Good for the bag. Keep your cups dry if you can, stop the water running down inside the bag and the grips get too wet. But the grips will get wet on a day like this, so perhaps not just the till that's on your bag, but maybe have a second till, a smaller till. Now you can actually pin this inside your umbrella to keep it dry, but use it and put it back in the bag and keep it dry. Now the benefit of having an extra till is not just about keeping your hands dry and about keeping your grips dry, but consider that when you take a club out of your bag and it's got a lot of water on the face and the ball's wet, these grooves will fill up the water, the dimples on the ball will fill up the water, so now there's this film of water between the contact, and that's a lot like hitting the ball out the rough, you've heard of the, the term a flyer. The same thing happens when the club face gets wet and the ball gets wet. There's no purchase between the grooves and the dimples on the ball. So when there's no spin, there's no control. You can't keep it straight, you can't flight it. So your towel comes in handy to make sure that there's moisture is taken out of those grooves and off the face. You can't obviously dry your ball on the fairway, so you need to get as much purchase off the grooves on the club face. Keeping your hands warm and dry and the grips warm and dry, that's very difficult, but very important that you try and do that. But the main tip when you're playing in the wet like this, and your hands are a little bit wet, the trick is not to hold on tight for grim death so you're not letting go of the club. Try and stay nice and soft in your grip pressure and just relax. There'll still be enough purchase there to not let go of the club. That way you can just keep your swing nice and smooth and the tempo nice and solid. But try these little tips, make sure you're prepared for a round any weathers we get here at Eastwood and don't get caught out in the rain. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about how you prepare to be out there when it's raining. The other thing uh, that helps obviously the grip, a lot of people wear a glove. Now, I personally always wear a leather glove and a lot of people like the feel of the leather. But the problem with leather when it gets wet is it gets very slidey. It's almost like a bar of soap and uh, whilst they're expensive, they're not necessarily great in the rain. So you maybe not want to stick with your leather glove in the rain. So the better options are the synthetic glove. Okay, it's man-made fibres, it does give you a bit more grip when it's wet, um, but again, it will have some of the other gloves have got the leather patches on them, so there will be an element of it that gets a little bit slidey. So what the glove manufacturers have come up with is a material to actually make a rain glove, and this is a little bit like a, a chamois leather that you'd wash your car with. It doesn't feel great when it's dry, but it actually absorbs the moisture and gets more, more purchase on it when it gets wet. So that's certainly something to consider. And even better still, if that's going to be good for your glove hand and you're going to get more grip, a lot of the companies now are doing pairs where you actually put two gloves on. And you might have noticed during the Ryder Cup, Phil Mickelson, who would always only ever wear one glove, he took the two gloves while he was playing in the rain. Glad I didn't actually help him that day down at Celtic Manor and we came out victorious in the wet. But think about your handwear and your gloves for when you're playing in the rain as well.